Hi there, I'm Amy Tokic, the editor of Pet Guide, and this is Oscar, my CTO, which is Chief Tasting Officer. Welcome to Canine Kitchen in Oscar's Nom Nom Hut. So today we're going to be making my frosty watermelon dog treats. All you need is a watermelon, coconut water, liquid honey, a cup, a tablespoon, a little blender, a dog, Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to cut the seedless watermelon in half using a very big sharp knife. Here we go, right down the middle. Be careful that you don't cut yourself and your dog. Then I'm just going to scoop out what I need using an ice cream scoop. Oscar, has it smell? Smell good? All right. I'm gonna try, this is a seedless watermelon. You're gonna try and stay away from the little white seeds, but they're very soft and they'll blend easily. The good thing about the watermelon is you're not gonna use it all, so you and your dog can eat the rest of it. Just one cup. A little bit for Oscar. I'll squeeze it a little bit. What's a little bit? A little bit? Oh, how does it taste? Tastes good? Okay. And into the blender it goes. One cup. And another cup. Two cups. Okay. Next is your coconut water. Oh, don't forget your hat, Oscar. Just pour it in, one cup. And into the blender it goes. And last but not least, and this is optional, a tablespoon of honey, just for added sweetness, because you're so sweet, yes you are. Yeah, you're pretty sweet. There we go. And Oscar is on cleanup duty, so he'll be doing the dishes with this dish. How's that taste? Oh, you're a good dish cleaner. Oh, yes you are. Good job. All right, time to blend it up. I just have the magic bullet. I don't need a full-size blender for this, but are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Scary. Oscar's not fond of the blender. And it's done, yay! So today I'm going to use some fancy and fun silicone molds. I'm going to use the bones and the paws. Here they are. They are great for baking and for freezing. So we have little bones, big bones, and big paws. You're going to very carefully, one at a time, pour the mixture into the silicone molds. And it's going to be messy. Don't worry about it, you can clean it up later. Or Oscar's gonna clean it up later. How's it look, Oscar? Does it look good? And if you have to, just, you can scoop out some of the mixture so that all of the molds are the same level. Now, the next part is going to be messy, which is why I put down a cardboard lining. Now very carefully, and this is going to spill. 
on my nice clean floor. There's no easier way to do this. So I'm going to pull it tight as I move it over. Oh, drip, 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 drip. Oh, so much dripping. And into the freezer it goes. And we're going to let it freeze overnight. What do you think, Oscar? You ready to clean up now? All right, this is where you shine. So Oscar pulled a diva move and he wouldn't help me clean up. So I had to do it all by myself. But now he is ready to test out the frozen bones. Let's give him a go, Oscar. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, that's good. Mm. They good? What, are you watching your girlish figure? You gonna have another one? You gonna have some? Oh, oh, it's so good. Yum, 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 nom, 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 nom. So that's it for Canine Kitchen in Oscar's Nom Nom Hut. We hope you'll join us next time. Let's do a little bit more.